What is aggregated data, <laughs> right? So here is a that, um, command plus on, or just as can you zoom in? Can you well, make it a little bit bigger? I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll this is a, so this is a, a hybrid seed, ah. a specific hybrid seed. Pioneer. Okay? Pioneer, which is owned by DuPont. DuPont owns P1151 Pioneer. Yeah. And the I way it's 111 days to maturity. Exactly. And it's Got a it. corn, it's a corn hybrid. Got it. And you take a look at the amount of acres we have in FBN. It's 154,000 plus acres. Now, so you have 154,000 acres across how many farms? Well, so it's probably, we don't publish the number of farms that contribute. It's probably 100 farmers that contribute okay. to this data set. And they've all guess. used the same seed. They've all used this hybrid. Got it. Okay, but they've used it under different conditions. They've used it in different years. They've used it on different soils. They've used it with different previous crops. Yeah, different irrigation. locations. And what we've done is taken that and now said, a typical farmer, let me put this in perspective for you. Mm. A typical farmer will spend $300,000, our farmer in our network, on seed. Huge decision every year. $300,000 in seeds. Our farmer, our average farmer right now, because we, we have uh, given our size so of our farm. That's their big bet, I guess. It's one of the very big bets they make. And you're typically making the decision based on a data set that's uh, from a plot trial that's probably uh, a quarter of an acre large. Got it. So now here- It's not real world, in other words. It's not real world, and it's not sizable. Mm. So here we have 154,000 plus acres of data. Now, Amazing. to put you here- how scientific this is, we can show you nitrogen response by those acres because the spatial data set, we, uh, we have the data on how much nitrogen was supplied on that field with that hybrid seed. We can connect those, those points and make this So the graph. nitrogen, um, which will help things grow, yeah. but is expensive, right? Exactly. To put nitrogen down, yeah. it's, it's some sort of a, a fertilizer. Exactly. It's a, nu it's a nutrient. And so it's that, got a, that nutrient has to cost money. Exactly. So using the right amount will then impact yield. But if you use too little, it could affect yield. You use too much, I, I, is it theoretical it would have a negative impact or it would just be wasteful, I guess? It, it could have a negative impact, but at minimum it's wasteful. Right. And, and so what you want to know is, you know, what is the impact of nitrogen, for example, on this, on this hybrid seed? Here's sure. another one, you okay. know, population. Ah, this is so very this is the density of seeds per acre. And this is this is very interesting one for me. Um, I'll give that from an egg background. Seeds per acre for people who are listening and not watching. We have the seeding rate and um, yield, the yield, and it shows how many seeds per thousand acres. So that two hundred or two fourteen is the yield. That's the yield. And you notice as the population goes up, you asked about diminishing returns. There actually is a leveling or diminishing return, meaning oh, you yeah. don't get an incremental benefit from planting more seeds an acre. This is... So when you hit 31,000 seeds an acre, you've hit 214.4. And then if you go up to 34.9 or even greater than 34.9, you actually go down. It diminished so, it so, to 213. Yeah. And so now think back to what, what I just mentioned, which is at $300,000 a year on seed. If yeah. you bought 20% more seed than you needed, that's 60,000 bucks. Yeah. We you, charge 500 bucks for our system. Wow. To contribute your data. So you can understand what the ROI is. This is just one discrete example. And this is all why. reported because the farmer just wrote on a clipboard or into an no. iPad. This is what this they is did. Actually, this is actually directly from the machine. Oh, the machines yes. that drop the seeds yeah, exactly. record. The planter. Exactly. The planter yes. records how many seeds were dropped per acre. Uh, well, so there's a monitor system. Ah. Okay, and the farmer actually puts in the hybrid they used. There's a, a rate so a computer. which you want to plant. It's a computer. Yeah. It's a and computer in the seeder. Files, and we read those files. I am so excited uh, to have Era, Eero. I was pressing Eero the other day, but it's Eero, like an ear. Eero, um, which is the world's first home mesh Wi-Fi system. If you don't have it, it is unbelievable. Mesh basically means the routers, and you buy them in like three packs, uh, work together to blanket your apartment or house with Wi-Fi. I use it, and I have to tell you, mesh is just a game changer with a simple iOS or Android app. Um, Hero, just blanket your home. It's perfect. It works. I love the product. It's one of those game-changing products that once you use it, you're like, oh, my God, I'm not having this uh, debate with the members of my family as to, like, why isn't the Wi-Fi working here? Why is the Wi-Fi? Why is Netflix slow? Why is this? Thing? Everything just starts to work amazingly. It's so reliable. And they've got a special offer for This Week in Startups listeners. You just go to eero.com. And uh, at checkout, you select overnight shipping and enter the promo code TWIST, and it will be free. Not the Euro units, the shipping. Overnight shipping for free for This Week in Startups listeners. I guarantee you're going to love this product. EERO.com, EERO.com. Euro is the, it's probably the best thing for you to buy this Christmas for somebody. 
uh, or for your home. Literally, all this nonsense with your family's Wi-Fi not working and all these different places in your house and people fighting over who's on Netflix, turn this off, reboot the router, it just goes away. Everything just works. It's the router that should have been built and it's the Wi-Fi system that should have been built a decade ago. But finally, here we are, year 15 of Wi-Fi. Euro has fixed it and it works.